Hey guys, so um, this video is a little different for me. I've never done a response video before, but um, I feel it's kind of relevant to the message that I'm trying to spread through YouTube and social media to touch on um, this whole Asina O'Neill thing. So if you guys don't know who Asina O'Neill is, she is a very young uh, social media superstar. So she's, I think, 18. Um, started modeling and started getting into the social media world um, as early as 12 years old, is what she said. Um, she's also a, a vegan activist, um, and I say activist because she posts, you know, about a vegan lifestyle and the benefits and the reason why she um, has chosen this lifestyle. So she kind of has used social media as a platform to promote this lifestyle and bring awareness to people. Um, she's got 500,000 plus followers on Instagram, hundreds of thousands of subscribers on YouTube, and she only started recently posting videos on YouTube. Uh, she just had such a big influence on social media that she immediately got so many subscribers once she started the channel. With that said, uh, you guys, I'm going to link her videos down below and her channel. I know we're just bringing her more um, publicity and, and more subscribers, but at the same time, it's a topic that I think is, is very relevant and important to our society today, and it's basically touching on the dangers of social media um, and how it's not real life, as she, as she says. And I'm just going to state my own experiences and my own views with social media. Um, you know, take it with a grain of salt, take it how you will. This is my opinion. Uh, feel free to post your thoughts below, especially after you watch her videos. Uh, let me know you guys' thoughts towards social media and, um, you know, your experience with it, whether it's positive or negative. And if you think that, you know, she is um, being valid or truthful in her reasoning to leave. So basically, the last few weeks, she's just up and left social media. And there's been a lot of YouTube videos in response to this saying, you know, what they think, whether they support or don't support her decision. Um, and honestly, I, she has a lot of truth to what she has described. She talks about being very young and very, very impressionable, um, how she thought that followers and how many likes her pictures get equal, you know, your self-worth, basically. And I can actually equate this to... Um, my what I try to help my clients with in fitness programs so especially with women uh, we spend a lot of time focusing on numbers so whether it's a number on the scale um, a clothing size the number of our dress size you know we grow up thinking that we have to be a certain number um, just as Asina grew up thinking that she needed a certain number of followers or a certain number of likes on Facebook um, and it's very, very hard to break out of that mentality, but you have to remember that that is not a determining factor of who you are as a person and what you have to offer this world. So, so what I try to let my clients know is that you know, regardless of what that number is going to tell you, it does not determine your happiness. You determine your happiness. You determine your self-worth, whether you have five followers on Instagram, whether you have five million followers on Instagram, whether you weigh 120 pounds or whether you weigh 220 pounds. You are what you make yourself and, and how you believe your, what you believe you have to offer this world. Um, and that's how I can relate it to fitness. And that is how I try and relate it to myself with social media. Cause I'm very active on social media. I post on Instagram several times a day. I'm always on Facebook and posting articles and status updates and checking into the gym and posting about my workouts. And now I do my YouTube stuff. So it's very time consuming. Um, and it can be overwhelming. So it's, it's very important to find a balance between 
real life <laughs> um, and social media. But at the same time, I can't discredit social media because it has so many positive things to offer. I work for myself because social because of social media. I started my online coaching business because I was able to connect with these people online on Facebook, um, through my website and through Instagram and YouTube. And I can connect with these people all over the country. I now have a client in the UK and it's because of social media. So I cannot discredit that social media has brought so many positive things into my life. It literally changed my life from a fitness point because before I got on Instagram, I had no idea how to be healthy. I had no idea how to about, go about working out. And um, so I thought cardio was the answer. You guys probably know my story. Did a lot of cardio. I didn't eat. Um, I was very skinny. I had no strength, no muscle. I was very unhappy and very unhealthy. So I got on Instagram and started getting plugged into the fitness community on there. Started finding women who were strong and confident and beautiful and they had muscles and you know they they just inspired me so much because I didn't realize that how beautiful it is to be strong not just physically but in yourself and knowing who you are and what you find beautiful um so I slowly started researching how to be healthier how to get stronger and found it as one of my biggest passions that I've ever had in my life. And that is because of social media. I don't, I don't know that I would be where I am in my fitness. I know that I wouldn't be where I am in my fitness career if it wasn't for Instagram mainly, um, but basically all forms of social media. And now we have YouTube and you can you know, watch these workout videos and find all of this amazing information just at your fingertips because of social media. So my overall view of social media is very, very positive. Um, now that's not to say that even people who might follow me, you know, can look at a picture that I have posted that, you know, I go to the gym and I do my workout and I take a gym selfie. Not going to lie, that's not one picture. You take three or four pictures, the lighting is weird, you know, you can't quite see anything, so you take another picture, you edit it. Yes, it is edited. Um, you know, we, we can't deny that a lot of the pictures on, on social media and Instagram are not edited, but that goes to be the same with magazines and... Hold on, my computer's dying with magazines and what you see on TV and in the movies, you have to understand that they are all contrived of something that markets well and does, you know, looks better. Um, I try and not, you know, I try and be more true to how I look on a daily basis. So you guys probably noticed that my videos, I'm never really that dressed up. I'm looking, you know, I just got done with my workout cause this is what I look like most of the time. Um, pictures on Instagram. Yeah, I edit them. I'm not going to lie. I do edit them. But, you know, it's something that I feel is more of, I guess, an art form. Just like Photoshop or, or something like that. I don't ever edit it to where I don't look like myself. You know, um, the lighting might be a little different and I make my shoulder look a little better here and there. Um, but at the same time, it's still me. You know, I'm, I'm posting that picture and I post it because I feel like it embodies how I feel in that moment, um, whether I'm happy or struggling or sad or frustrated. And I always try and post in the caption below what is going on in the picture. And it's really cool for me to be able to go back and see this time last year where I was at, what I was struggling with how I was feeling and where I was in my journey. It's just absolutely amazing to, to be able to document this um, and have access to it. So that's my take on social media and that's my experience with it. It's been very, very positive overall, um, but the negative side of it, I do 
have moments where I'm scrolling through Instagram or, you know, I'm on Facebook or I'm on YouTube and I start finding myself comparing my journey, my body and myself to others. And whether it's through, you know, so-and-so has this many followers or so-and-so looks like this at this many weeks out from their show, um, you know, or this person has done this in their career. Um, and that can be dangerous, but we can do that in any aspect of life. So at any time, you can know the success of your neighbor <laughs> and think to yourself, okay, well, why do I not have that job? Why do I not have that car? And it basically starts from within. You have to be confident in yourself. You have to know yourself know what you have to offer and have that positive mindset in order to go about social media in a positive way. And I think that if you can do that, it can be used for so many great things. And as far as Sina O'Neill goes, she has such a great platform to spread amazing messages with this world. Um, and Technically, she's still on social media because she is just moving to a website and posting videos on her website. So, um, regardless, she's still online. It's still a form of social media, but that's okay. So, if she wants to change the message that she's spreading, I think that's, you know, that's great. It's overall positive. It's reaching out to the younger, more impressionable women that might look at these you know, Instagram accounts and think that that's real life or think that those Photoshop pictures are what they look like 99% of the time. But you just have to remember that in all areas of life, you know, we are what, how we perceive ourselves. And if you, I think that if you're confident in who you are deep down, Social media is a very positive thing. So that's my take on it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to upload it. There's a little cut halfway through um, because I thought that it wasn't recording, but it did. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on social media, your experience with it. Um, let's start a discussion. I'll see y'all later.